When the Stanley Center started down the road to really expand psychiatric genetics research to the world, they knew that they couldn't do this alone. They knew that they had to do it as a true collaboration with our sites around the globe. The mission of the Stanley Center is to decrease the burden of mental illness through research as we investigate the genetic underpinnings of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, autism spectrum disorders. We need genetic diversity. So gender is unique and special in this way because we push the envelope on discovery research, but we're also pushing the envelope on building capacity for investigators around the globe. The GINGER program, which stands for the Global Initiative for Neuropsychiatric Genetics Education in Research, is focusing specifically on the sites in Africa, both East and South Africa, Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, and South Africa. So the GINGER program is a two-year program. It starts with a two-week workshop, which we host here at the Broad Institute and at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, to give them an overview of the field of neuropsychiatric genetics, to introduce them to the community, to introduce them to each other. Those 17 fellows come from diverse backgrounds. Uh, some of them are clinical uh, psychiatrists, psychologists, uh, epidemiologists, um, as well as basic science researchers. Over the course of the two years, they take part in weekly virtual classrooms. In addition, they're going to work with us as we develop on-site trainings. We're working with faculty on-site to ensure that any curriculum that gets built stays at those institutes and universities and can eventually be incorporated into their curriculum for the long term. My name is Dr. Felicita Wangeshi Mwangi. I'm a psychiatrist. My name is Dr. Vinia Mworku, and I'm a psychiatrist. I'm Emmanuel Mwesiga, one of the 33 psychiatrists in Uganda. There are around 65 uh, psychiatrists in Ethiopia. A career in clinical research or translational research and in particularly neuropsychiatric research in South Africa, it's, it's, it's not a highly kind of popular um, career path to follow. I think the best way to describe mental health in Uganda is that you'll have to lecture, you'll have to treat children, old age, HIV and infections, um, you're a jack of all trades. There is a historical legacy where uh, investigators and scientists from high-income countries going and collecting data where the local investigators were not part of the research process. By starting with the training programs, the leadership at the Stanley Center as well as the Harvard THL School of Public Health is sending a clear and loud message that it's not business as usual. I see GINGER as a program that tries to build a critical mass of you know, neuropsychiatric uh, genetic experts in the continent of Africa. They want to ensure that this is continuous and they want to make sure that they empower the people themselves to be able to carry on and be able to even take this uh, further. In terms of you know, building infrastructure and, and really empowering African neuropsychiatric genetics researchers as collaborating with each other is such an important part of this puzzle and I think that GINGER really opens the, the door um, for this kind of collaboration moving forward. I feel at the end of two years when I will have colleagues that I can collaborate with, I will have um, resources that I can use that were not available to me, um, I will have skills very importantly. I'll also have good memories. <laughs> I want to continue mentoring people and encourage them to mentor others and so on and so forth because it's the only way to doing this, like forming bigger teams. The bigger, the better. We really are all committed to taking what we've learned here and passing that forward to more junior colleagues, to postgraduate students. That kind of network effect is really the only way that you can really effectively build an, an infrastructure um, in kind of a, a limited resource setting. Clearly, we're interested in research, but we're also interested in closing the disparity gap that exists in making sure we want to have technically qualified scientists across the globe. My hope is that the kind of research program and the kind of scientific leaders that we hope to uh, help develop will also help improve the status of people with mental illness, will help improve research on mental illness, and ultimately will have an impact on the kinds of treatments that are available. And by coming together in this way where we complement each other's skill sets so beautifully and we share this mission, we're able to thrive. Mm -hmm.